थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स वॉट इज थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स मीन्स वॉट थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स वी कैन स्प्लीट थर्म इज द हीट एंड डायनेमिक्स मीन्स मोशन मीन्स वॉट हीट कैन बी ट्रांसफर्ड इन टू द डिफरंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ द एनर्जी सो वॉट कैन बी था हाउ कैन थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स बी डिफाइंड थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस हुई मे डील विद द स्टडी ऑफ हीट एंड अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ द एनर्जी now let's say how to study there is one term because all collectively we cannot consider thermodynamics in all aspects so what we'll have to do we'll have to consider a single term let's say the system system is what we'll have to consider some part of the universe for our studies so in system we can say any part it might be little bit or it might be more to the large extent so system is the part but one thing is there we'll have to consider system to be with terms of the therm means heat so any part of this universe anything let's say this to be the single room let's say this to be the water in the glass but if it is under thermodynamic consideration it is the system now if this part is being considered as the system so remaining whole part can be considered to be the surrounding then what is surrounding surrounding is the rest or remaining part of the system which can be considered for studies now system and surrounding cannot be one so there is a line it might be real or imaginary line which will be separating system and surrounding and this line can be considered to be the boundary now there is a difference all systems cannot be equal but system exchanges few things with the surrounding and based on these topics we have bifurcated system in three parts the very first is open system in open system both the things get transferred the very first is matter and another one is energy any system which exchanges matter with the surrounding can be called as the open system let's say if you consider hot water and cold water if hot water is poured into the cold water both the things got transferred matter means hot water got transferred and energy means heat got transferred so any system in which matter and energy is transferred can be considered as the open system in closed system if i consider hot water and one rod is kept in the hot water then matter doesn't get transferred so what becomes transferred of course energy so only energy and not matter is transferred so the system in which only energy and not matter gets the transferred is called as the closed system now another example that is isolated system let's say thermos if you could uh, keep thermos and hot tea in that after span of time you can come to know that the temperature remains constant means what even matter and energy both didn't get transferred means neither energy nor matter is transferred and this kind of system is called as the isolated system